Now to a big development involving Chicago Public Schools. All seven school board members will soon be out. They all resigned over a dispute with Mayor Brandon Johnson and the fate of school CEO Pedro Martinez. We just learned the mayor will announce their replacements on Monday. The move happening as voters begin casting ballots for 10 new board members who will start in January. For many of the candidates, it's the first time they're running in an election, but you wouldn't know that from the money they've raised. CBS News Chicago investigator Dorothy Tucker has the money details and who's donating. Welcome to the Chicago Board of Education meeting. There are currently seven people on the Chicago School Board. This will all change on January 15th when the board expands to 21. 11 will be appointed by the mayor. 10 members will be elected by voters. So do you know any of the candidates who are running in this district? I just know one is a black lady. Her name starts with a K. And the other one is a white guy, and I don't know his name. Uh, Chicagoans aren't in the habit of voting for members of the school board. Stephen Maynard Caliendo is a political science professor at North Central College. He says since this race is new to voters, candidates have to figure out how to get their attention. Really the only way to do that is with resources. I.E. money. So far, the 31 candidates have raised more than a million dollars. I didn't know what to expect exactly, um, but if you ask me if I'm surprised, I would say, yeah, it's more money than I thought we'd see. It's a mix of small donations from political supporters, friends, family, and larger donations from some wealthy investors and labor groups. Candidates in District 5, which spans the west side, have the least amount of money. District 10, the south side, has the most. I want to bring the community back to our schools. Shea Reinfest Smith from District 10 is one of the three candidates topping the fundraising list who have raised more than $100,000. A lot of Smith's haul is his own money. Most of Robert Jones's donations come from the Chicago Teachers Union. And on the far north side, District 2, about one quarter of Margaret Cullerton Hooper's six figures comes from supporters of her politically connected father. The biggest donor is the CTU, giving more than $300,000 to these 10 candidates. The charter schools are backing these six candidates. Total spend, a little over $42,000. What's in it for each group? Certainly the CTU uh, is not particularly supportive of charter schools, and uh, they want to make sure that there's voices on that board uh, that will not allow charter schools to, uh, to run rampant. On the opposite side of it, the charter schools want to make sure that the, the teachers union isn't the only voice that's heard. Uh, they are interested in expanding the number of charter schools and charter school opportunities around the city of Chicago. What advice would you give voters? It's just important for the voter to know how they feel, uh, what they want to happen. Bottom line, it's important that voters do their homework. You can find out just how much money each candidate has raised on the State Board of Elections website. Need to dig into that voter's guide mm. this time around. It, it, it's a lot to kind of wade through, mm -hmm. but really worth it because we're talking about our children, yeah. our yes. schools. All right. Thank you, Dorothy. You're